Hi, this is Lynn Langett with part two of my short little screencast series here on getting started programming with the Facebook Open Graph API. So listen to part one if you haven't already, and I have a link on the, the screen here. And uh, what we're doing now is we've set up the basic uh, integration uh, using WordPress uh, plugin, and now we're going to program against it and make it even richer. So we have to understand what we can do first. So we need to think about um, objects, actions, and users. And, and uh, then we also need to think about how we're going to display them. So we can display them on, um, they call it the social channels and documentation on the news feed, on the ticker, that thing on the upper right, and on the timeline. So how do we want to visualize the, the, uh, the data um, that we're getting from our application and what data do we want to get? So um, another way to think about this is a user takes a certain action, in our case it will be a student, in our app, which will be our TKP app, and they post it to Facebook and I'll show you how to wire this up as we go along and then um, uh, Facebook is going to get the object metadata in our case we want a picture of the of the lesson that they've, they've coded up all these slides have URLs so you can pull down the documentation too if you want to get started so here is you know taking that um, that uh, the diagram and putting our use case so we want to post a story to the timeline post the name post a picture of the um, the screenshot Post the name of the recipe and should read something like Lynn, the kid, built the TKP square recipe using, and we have different languages, so we want to put Java. Um, as uh, you may understand when I say this, Facebook has to approve your action because they don't want spamish things. They don't want, you know, things that aren't, aren't, aren't productive posting on people's timelines. So you have to, you know, plan this out and you have to be thoughtful because um, you want to only post information that people are genuinely interested in getting. So, uh, you know, you got to talk to people who are going to be using this. So how do you do this once you once you plan it out? Well, let's go back to the developer section. So you go to Facebook developers here. And the first thing you have to do, um, it took me a little time to figure this out. You, even though this would indicate, if you look at it, that you just go and hack the graph, you actually have to know how to make a Facebook app first. Now, I did figure that out looking at the WordPress plugin. Um, so if you are brand new, you might want to click on this Learn More. And there, the tutorials are pretty good. One of the things I found is the tutorials within Facebook developers are pretty good. I didn't find a lot of information outside of Facebook developers. It's one of the reasons I'm recording this um, and posting it up on YouTube. So once you're ready to get started, you say get started, and then they give you the steps here. So the first step is to create a Facebook app. Now again, it's not obvious sometimes how you do this. You have to read and go to the app dashboard, and then you click and you say create app. Okay, now one of the things that you have to do is have a namespace because that's going to be passed back and forth. And there's no naming convention here. There is a certain fixed number of characters. I could only do teaching kids program. Also notice that if you you know need to set up your website to cause the action to come from, they have this kind of cool integration with Heroku, which I didn't need because I already had a website, but it's kind of neat. So I have another demo here, so I'll just bring this one up and I'll show you what you get when you have um, when you have a when you start this up. So you get your API key and all that good stuff. And then what we care about here is, you know, the roles, who can work with it, admins, and they have a neat thing where you can have testers. Insights is their, um, like their Google Analytics for this, which is also kind of cool. I haven't spent much time working with it. But what we want to work with is the open graph um, uh, uh, actions, objects, and aggregations. So here's what you get by default. You get basically that you can post information about movies, TV shows, and videos and that these are the objects of interest, the nouns, if you will, and this is the verb. So this is the action that occurs when somebody watches one of these things. Then this is the view. So like which are your favorite artists, so on and so forth. So you can use these, you can augment them, and I'll just go into movie and just give you an example. There are certain properties associated with them. Or you can create your own. So you can see here these are the various properties, and this is what it will look like. So in the next part of this, I'm going to go ahead and create um, uh, my custom apps for my particular uh, scenario. So again, this is the Open Graph API. This is part two of three, and uh, we'll continue on in the next one. This is Lynn Langett. Thank you very much.